Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, what are you worrying about today? I mean, are you worrying about your health or the health of a loved one? Uh, are you worried about finances? Like, do I have enough money to retire? Or you don't have enough money even to make it to Friday? Uh, are you worried about, you know, relationships? Relationship, your marriage, is it struggling? Relationship with your kids or your parents or your grandkids, your friends? Uh, are you worried about the economy? and your job or a job or, you know, what's it going to do to my 401k? Are you worried about the nation and the politics and the elections and what direction we're going? Are you worried about the world and the next crisis that may arrive? You see, we worry. We're anxious. We're fearful. And the Apostle Peter knew that because he dealt with people. And in 1 Peter 5, 7, he says, cast all your cares on him, on God, because he cares for you you. And isn't that a beautiful verse? Cast all your cares on him because he cares for you. God cares about you. So what he's saying is bring your fears, bring your worries, bring your anxieties to Jesus because he already cares about you. He knows what you need, but he cares about you and he wants to have a conversation with you about your worries. It does not irritate God that you worry. It might irritate him that you don't uh, bring your worries to him. So what I'm telling you is pray your fears. You're afraid? Talk to Jesus about it. Okay? Bring them all to him and lay them out and say, here's who I'm worried about. Here's what I'm worried about. This health thing, this economy thing. And, and bring them to God because he cares for you. And here's what God's going to do. Okay, if you bring your fears to God and you, and you pray your fears... Here's what I believe scripturally and in my own life, what, what I think God's going to do. First of all, I think he's going to remind you he's with you because he's promised to never leave you or forsake you. You're a follower of Jesus. God is with you. You're not in this alone. You're never alone. You're never abandoned. He is going to stay with you. So he's going to remind you that he's with you. And then he's going to provide peace. You know, the promise is that, uh, well, the Apostle Paul said, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, make a request known to God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. You're going to get peace that you don't even understand where it came from. But that means you've got to pray your fears. You've got to bring those to, to Jesus. And then he's going to provoke gratitude. Because what I found is when I bring my fears to God and I start talking about those things, he reminds me of all the blessings in my life, all the ways that he's answered prayer in my life, all the ways that he's done miracles in my life. And, and what that does is it makes me thankful. And it's funny because you can't really be grateful and fearful at the same time. And, and then he's going to reassure you of redemption. Again, the Apostle Paul said, you know, for we know that God causes all things to work together for good to those who love him. And so if you love Jesus, uh, you know that God is redeeming your life. So you don't have to be afraid because God's still going to bring about good out of that. And then, you know, if, if you're really worried and you're praying those fears to God, he's going to remind you of your destiny, that you are bound for heaven. And as I like to say, and I do often, it only gets better. If you're a follower of Jesus, there may be pain, struggle, heartbreak, hurt in this world. In fact, it's pretty much inevitable. But it only gets better because we have heaven promised for us and we're going to spend eternity there in a place where there's no more suffering, sorrow, dying, or pain. For the old order is done away with and all things are made new. So please listen to the Apostle Peter. Cast all your cares on Jesus because he cares for you. God bless Calvary.